this is an old fence, but uh, look at this pole over here, leaning over, ready to fall, a bridge that's uh, no longer used. And the fence looks old. The fence is pulled down by the fallen pole. <laughs> Going up to Walmart. Yeah, this mall has got a lot of open stores that are uh, closed down, but uh, I don't know if anything is... I don't think it's going to close for a while. Yeah, the mall don't seem that bad. It is pretty quiet for shoppers, but maybe it's just that hour. I just kind of wandered back here. And it's like, oh, hello. Some kind of old automotive place that stayed well. They actually have electricity. You can hear it buzzing. I'll just say that. Um, oh, that's empty. Yeah. But yeah, somebody busted in here and brought even a cart. Could be somebody in there now. And they busted the, the lock somehow. And that was uh, to this auto center. I think it was cleared out completely next to the mall. I'm having car trouble. And uh, I mean, it drives, but it's it's really slow. But uh, I, uh, I, I've been reading the reviews on, on Google Maps. And it's saying that uh, the that some of the auto shops are uh the cars there at the auto the auto repair shops are are they're stealing things out of the cars and damaging them and that's that's a concern there's there's one auto shop rated 3.3 stars out of five yeah but I, I'm, I'm just telling you like i know you're right here but somebody's gonna steal your bike or they're gonna break in your car well because what i'm saying is if somebody comes over here and they shoot you what? We won't know. Unless okay, it's, it's after. I see it's after midnight. Yeah. I'll, I'll step out here. Just. <clears throat> so I mean, you don't, you don't got to step up. I'm just telling. You. Oh, I just there's uh, I just wanted to show. Okay, I'm good. I just wanted to show that there's uh, there's straps all over. You know, you're not okay. So yeah, I know what you're saying. But they're gonna cut. And they're gonna cut until they get it off. Yeah, I, I think I think it'll be real real noticeable because I have. Uh, you, yeah. you see, you see this uh, this yeah. wire thing. That's. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I mean. I'm, okay, so. I, I'm, I'm here. I get what you're saying, but I've seen it. They're gonna do it. Yeah, what I've, I've, I've is, had. What I'm saying is, you might want to find you somewhere with some camera. Okay. You can. Uh, I would. I would advise you to go to one of the hotels, and just sleep in their parking lot. Well, I don't, I'll I'll take the chance. I had I've had a bicycle stolen in Phoenix, Arizona. The, okay. per the person the person actually did cut the straps and this was in the parking lot of the library during the daytime at 10, 10 a.m. in the morning time they they just cut the straps and took everything no, I'm just saying so, like, they, like what I'm saying is somebody comes to steer your bike or somebody comes and tries to carjack you or whatever and oh, they shoot you yeah you're not gonna know unless you call if you're able to call that's all I'm saying yeah, I, I I'm taking the chance with the carjacking, but the the bicycle thing is, I mean, I I, I want to, you know I'll be taking off kind of shortly. But the, you say the crime is that bad right now? It's yeah, this it's, is this is reading. We're number we're number two. Okay. In the state of Mississippi. Okay. All right. Hmm. Once again, I have mentioned this before, but I am still fine with letting it 
the potatoes burn um, on the bottom like this. It doesn't seem that bad. I haven't really noticed any any problems. It's almost uh, adds an, an, an extra, just a different flavor that's not not terrible with the steak and potato boiling together for 25 to 30 minutes. There's a kind of a chocolatey, chocolate type of smell that comes from, I think, the burnt parts. Somebody tried to take my bicycle. <laughs> Look at that. This is a this is a grab right here. While I was away. This is a bad area. I think I better get moving. <clears throat> it seems to me that meat has a special way to clean out candida, clean out the internal organs of candida without replenishing the, the fuel that uh, helps it thrive. It's just, you know, with meat, it's just pure protein and nothing else, and that does not feed candida. Candida needs sweet stuff. Lots of sweet, sweet fruits, just natural. It could be natural fruits. It doesn't even need to be highly processed foods with sugar extracts. It could just be sweet stuff. I mean, that's what I've been doing. And eggs and milk seem to feed candida, I think. It doesn't mean I need to stop it, but I, it kind of means I need to stop it. Severely reduce it. Eggs are used in baking. They're, uh, as part, you put eggs in pancakes, cakes, a lot of pastries. Eggs go in to give the, the product some, some, some uh, kind of maybe uh structure but eggs are used so they're they complement sugar they're kind of sugary and themselves there's just something about using eggs and milk and cooking that complement uh, the pastries and also complement the candida and i know i suffered candida because i'm not suffering it now i'm not suffering the swelling the pre-swelling Oh, it would cause this dripping from overpainting. I also want to say that for some reason the uh, clutch got out and I was in neutral and I rolled into the curb. I was in the store at the time, so I was just sitting there pressed up against the curb in a driving lane. That was a little scary. Just another problem with this car. All right, I'm in I'm in Boonville, Mississippi, and there's a big haze across this whole area. It smells very smoky, like a me maybe metal, a metal smoke wafting across the whole campus. I hope it's not at, um, at Walmart too, but uh, I hope it doesn't happen too often. Wow, smoking out the students and making them dumber. I got these guys standing around my car. I hope they didn't call the cops. That could suck. Yeah, I'm pushing the cooking in the Walmart parking lot a little hard because I want to get to the mechanics quite soon here. So these guys in the red truck were uh, standing around my car. I think they saw the, the steam coming out. There's nothing coming out windows, so they had to actually look deep inside my car to see that steam. All right, Corinth, Mississippi, Corinth, Mississippi. And uh, that seems to be a significant Civil War area. There's I got a lot of reference to it. Half Mile, now Confederate Park, 
October 5th, 1872, during Battle of Corinth, headed by CSA charge of Heedless Casa Zolzpivka at Gettysburg and Light Brigade at Babakava. Because the library's closed, I gotta go to the bathroom still, and the city hall is about three blocks away, so I guess I'm going to visit City Hall. They're doing some painting over here. Johnston's headquarters, Johnston's Fillmore Chapel. So I guess that house is uh, headquarters for uh, during the time of Civil War. Looks like a nice house. <clears throat> Red brick, this is a good chance that a lot of these buildings were built during the, before the Civil War happened. That's what's amazing about it is they were, they were pretty well developed back then in the early to mid 1800s. But I mean, if you look at Europe in the 1700s, they had a lot of advanced development and big buildings, city in the cities. But I mean, even Roman architecture seemed like pretty advanced itself anyway. Grant turned this uh, site, probably not this exact building. He had a headquarters here in 1862. Wow, that's pretty cool. Man, they really had some major activity around here with the, the high up generals. Oh, they're closed. Dang it, I, I should have known that. I should have figured the city hall would be closed for President's Day as well. Dang it. The Coca-Cola bottling plant has a museum. There's, oh, there it is, right over there. I wonder if it costs money, and I wonder if they have a bathroom. Otherwise, I think I might just drive to Walmart. I've never noticed this on uh, fire trucks before. Breathing air PSI. Big tank for that. Huh. Max breathing air pressure not to exceed 200 PSI. I cannot breathe that volume of air without exploding. A Coca-Cola museum. What's the significance? Oh, there's music. Uh-oh. Exit. Oh, they're definitely charging money. Open. What? Okay, all right, all right. Uh, I guess they're locked. All right, so you press this, this button to let a receptionist know because even though this door is unlocked, okay, you can pull it. They got it like sealed up on the top, so you can't just walk in. That's uh, it's unfortunate. Oh, there's more across the street. <laughs> More displays across the street. <laughs> All right, going across the street. <clears throat> Maybe this is uh, unlocked. It's probably not. <laughs> like they're sitting and waiting for people to just visit. I doubt they're just gonna let me in. Yeah, there's a key card. Okay, all right. <clears throat> Interesting. 
Um, there's a lady sitting behind the glass and she just kind of looked at me like questioning what I was doing. Some kind of display. Jeez. I'm going to have to drive to Walmart, I think, or study the map better. Looks kind of like an older sign here. Yeah, it's a big Coca-Cola um, thing on display. A couple of guys standing around smoking. There's a few people in that plant with all the cars in the lot. All right, so this house was built in 1857. Hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. And, uh, yeah, the uh, generals during the Civil War just occupied it. Either the original owners f fled or were killed. And then I think they're talking about the headquarters. Just, I don't know, this is big headquarters area for how long? They say when it was in about, oh, it was built in 1857. They don't say how long they stayed. That's something you got to research a little further. Has a big wall. This is, this is probably from the 1850s, this wall. Some construction workers from the 1850s put this all together. The red brick. Civil War. For display, you can walk around it. And just across the street is that abandoned house. How can they have such nice places and then that abandoned house? That just looks crazy. I wonder if people, um, <clears throat> Walmart switched to this thicker bag. I wonder if people requested that because you can actually squeeze the the fruit in here with a bag and make more a better juice. That's kind of cool. I got more of a juice just using a bag. Never really done that before. More drinkable. All right. So yeah, in Corinth, you couldn't take a step without walking over a body at the uh, Corinth Civil War Interpretive Center. Just uh, yeah, a, just a small documentation. But yeah, Shil the Battle of Shiloh. Yeah. That's it's that was 30, in. It's about thirty miles north of here. Oh, I see. Okay, Corinth. This Corinth is, was a part of it. They're so big yeah. that it spread out into the Corinth area. Yeah, this <laughs> is called uh, Fort Robinette. Robinette. Okay. Yeah, that's 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 uh. Now, that building wasn't here, and that groundwork wasn't there twenty years ago. They but just, the they just made all the, the, all the cannon stuff no, was they, made up. Yeah, okay, <laughs> it looks like maybe it could have been. All right. Yeah. So this was the kind of the hill that they were fighting on. Yeah. Just this. Okay. And there's uh, information to talk about, uh, kind of what happened a little bit. That's that's incredible. Um, but it's all completely changed now. Um, yeah. Now but, this this is pretty much original. I'm I'm telling you, this fencing up here too, that is original. All right. It's old, and I mean, you look at old cabins they they have that gray old look as well and these cabins are from the eight early the mid 1800s so if if I, I i swear you know that's this is the original wood from that time this it's so old i mean and the, and just the style that they have it set up as with the lengths and the thickness that's that's what they use that's what they use and, and yeah, there could be some bullet holes in those from the Civil War. You know, it's, it's a, there's a possibility. You don't. I, I'm telling. I'm tell. Okay, I'm just telling you. I'm just a messenger. You don't have to. You don't have to believe the messenger. But uh, they, they have. There is a clear distinction when you're in the, the certain neighborhoods. Okay, I guess I never really. That that that's just, that'd be the same for pork too, right? They don't. They don't, they don't say where it came from. I don't know. It's it's just. Uh, I was just told. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, you could drive right in. No firearms allowed on this property. Yep. 
and you don't see that at many graves or at many cemeteries grave locator okay and this this is civil war stuff uh this is a national cemetery gettysburg national cemetery address okay any of the gettysburg address four score and seven that's the gettysburg address that they just reprinted on the side i can actually read it through my camera that's kind of cool because Gettysburg is only 30 miles away from here, and um, yeah, there, there's there's a the the uh, the Civil War um, history is spread out far beyond Gettysburg. For for what happened in Gettysburg, uh, it it wasn't just const the, the events didn't weren't just concentrated in Gettysburg. It was also uh, spread out in this area the train tracks were important were important here yeah. and then in Gettysburg I don't know what was important <laughs> uh, the river it was, it was a river of, okay river. okay yeah that's that's something car pickup line. the car pickup line and, and they park in the middle of the road that's that's amazing and it's must be close to three o'clock I'm guessing then 244 just all jo just a position then there's everyone looking at their phone Looking on their phone, looking on their phone. Yep, they're looking down on their phone. Yep, check, checking, checking their phones. Parked there, waiting. Oh, yeah. Selmer, Tennessee. Selmer, Tennessee. <laughs> Selmer, whoops. Normal. All right. <clears throat> now, are you? Do you have any meetings in the conference room today? Is this what's the schedule look like? Oh yeah. Okay. All right, yeah, I'll just go sit in there and use it then. <laughs> All right, at the, the library here, Jack McConaughey. I just noticed this people driving around the speed bump at this abandoned uh, nursing home they got some windows you can peek through let's peek through this oh we've moved locations now located in a big red building okay so clearly it's abandoned locked so they shouldn't have any problems with me parked here just a special it doesn't uh, open perfectly the seats not it doesn't really adjust and it's it's uh yeah it's a seat all right no also you gotta oh. well 
All right. Yeah, the it's it's uh, not great for shifting. It's it's just grindy and it uh, it shudders. So. I'm, oh yeah. It's, okay. All right. Yeah, I think I might need an oil change too. Too. Um, let's see. Uh, okay. All right. I'm on this checkout train. Okay. Sure. All right. Oh my god, the bus station. <clears throat> Colt 45. So there's a bus station. That's great. Makes it convenient to get here. What? Alright. Main entrance. <clears throat> if locked, use <clears throat> main entrance. Okay. <laughs> no loitering, though. It's kind of weird to see that for a sign at the library. So in my opinion, steak tastes perfectly fine, boiled with potatoes. It's still got the same, the same uh, texture and everything. It's so cold out today here in Paducah. I got several layers of jackets on. I just got done cooking steak. I put a couple of eggs in there and potatoes. I had it over here, and as I was taking it and putting it down here, I spilt some water on my ankle, scalding it. It was very painful. That was some damage to my skin. And it's so hard. I don't have as much space. I'm dealing with much less space putting the, the pot down here because of all these jackets. So I think I hit the, I hit the steering wheel and then spilt out water onto my, my hot, very hot water onto my skin. Is he coming to get me? Did you try this? Yeah. He's just going to beat you. Why you got to bring a tow truck out here? That's my dog. You're scaring me, man. No, 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 no. You're good. I thought somebody called the tow, tow truck on me. No, that's just my dog. <laughs> 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 I didn't know what was... I thought somebody was called the cops on me or something. Wow. Jason's towing? Okay, just... Just a little bit of light to the floor. Oh. 
See what you got to do. Oh man, it disappeared again. All right. Just want to say that I don't like how I'm breathing. I just feel like it's constricted. And it did rain not too long ago. And look at that, it's like more dust than rain. I don't understand how that can happen. But it happened with the rain. There could be a lot, and it's uh, been windy since last night around here. It may have kicked up more of that kind of dust if the rain can bring dust. The wind certainly can. And I don't like how my breathing feels, but it doesn't seem like it's affected by any dust. It's, but outside conditions have weird effects sometimes. I'm just trying to take it easy and <laughs> breathe and uh, see if I can get through this. I did bicycle about seven miles yesterday and I'm recovering from that. Being in a hunched over position on the bicycle, breathing in, exercising in that hunched over way. So I'm trying to reverse that.